born Francesco Raffaele Nito in 1886 in the gritty heart of Sicily, Italy. Frank Nitti's life was destined to be intertwined with the underworld. At the age of seven, his father died, leaving a void filled by the sinister lure of the Sicilian Mafia. In 1893, seeking a better life, Nitti's mother took him to the New World, settling in Brooklyn, New York. There, young Nitti was quickly drawn into the city's thriving criminal on the world. Nitti moved to Chicago in 1913. His skills as a barber took a backseat as he began working with the Chicago Outfit, a notorious criminal syndicate. Nitti's toughness, reliability, and loyalty quickly gained him respect of his peers, including the formidable Al Capone. <coughs> Nitty's reputation as a formidable enforcer earned him the nickname, The Enforcer. He was instrumental in expanding the Chicago's outfit's control over labor and trade unions. His efficiency in convincing union leaders to comply with the outfit's demands was legendary. As Al Capone's prominence grew, so did Nitty's. Capone recognized Nitty's value, and he quickly became Capone's right-hand man. Even when Capone was sent to prison in 1931, Nitty was entrusted with keeping the outfit's operations running smoothly. After Capone's imprisonment, Nitty took over as boss of the Chicago outfit. His reign was marked by a shift from bootlegging to other forms of organized crime like labor racketeering, gambling, and prostitution. In 1943, Nitty and several of his associates were indicted for extorting money from Hollywood studios. Fearing a lengthy prison sentence due to his failing health, Nitty took his own life, marking the end of an era for the Chicago outfit. Frank the Enforcer Nitty's life was a testament to the ruthless efficiency of the American Mafia. His rise from a young Sicilian immigrant to the boss of one of the most powerful crime syndicate in American history provides a chilling glimpse into the dark heart of organized crime.